So we're going to shape a tin loaf. Uh, so what we do is we take our ball of dough and we punch it down into something that resembles almost like a rectangular shape of dough and knock out all that air that's come from the proven dough. Uh, and we take a corner, fold in, corner and fold in. So it's like a roof, roof of a house. And we do the same at the bottom, like so. And then we take the outer edge and fold in, and the other side and fold in. And then what we want to do is to roll the dough up and create tension by pulling it at the same time. And then once you've got that tight feel, what you can do is you can roll it up like that. There you go, a bit like a Swiss roll. And then you pull it towards you, and tighten it underneath, and that helps to create oven spring, forming tension under that dough. There we go, and then we pop it into the tin. Like that. So what you do with the pretzel dough, so we flatten it out into a rectangular type of shape and then what we do is we curl the dough towards us um, and pull it out at the same time. So now it stretches the dough out at the sides and you maintain that chunkier bit in the middle. It's just there, so you've got that shape. And we put that to and again, we want to try and stretch, get some more length out of these rows here. Out and then up. Twist twice and then taper over. Okay. So this is the Nando. And what we're going to do is we're going to split it into about four. Uh, so I'm going to get some flour. And lightly flour your workbench. We don't want to throw too much flour at it because this is dough that's had everything added into it. If you add any other dry dough, it makes the dough drier. And we want to keep that nice hydrated dough. So we're going to split it into four even lumps of dough. So you've got your dough here, and then we're going to start by rolling the dough, pulling it from the outside, and, and stretching the dough out. And as it gets larger, we can start pulling it into our naan shape, like that. Well, we're going to try and shape some bagels today so what we want to do is you've got your dough here and then we're going to roll it into a sausage shape about 20 centimeters long about the length of a ruler so it depends how big your dough is you want to weigh it out to about 115 grams You've got something about that length and then what you want to do is to taper the edges about two centimeters at the bottom like that and then roll it back on itself backwards and forwards to join the ends together you do this because if you boil them and they're not joined properly they'll just pop open so it's sealed it's nice and tight and then that goes on the baking sheet to prove 